this video is about that very bright light. Do it outside, they said. <laughs> it's been chucking it down and it's just started to rain. There it is, running off a power pack outside. There's my lovely assistant. And I'll switch this light off or I'll cover this light up and you see how bright it is. Perfectly adequate to record outside. Got the drone up as well for some other shots so you can see it from a distance. We'll look in more detail in a bit about it. But it's a light for video work, photographer work, and it's got lots of different settings on as well. Unfortunately, it's not waterproof, so hopefully it's not going to chuck it down in the next couple of minutes. <laughs> Rosie's desperate to get out and find out what's going on and chase the drone. We have got two of these. The Colbra lights and they're the CL100X for video and photography work. So we're going to keep one, which is this one. We've been using it quite a lot. It's well impressive. And this is the one we're going to give away to a subscriber in our usual way. This is a closer look of it. As you've seen, I've just been outside trying to film this outside. The people who sent me this said it'd be really good to show it on a power pack outside. But unfortunately, to meet the deadline for the video, <laughs> we had to come out tonight and it's blowing a gale and in between the rain. <laughs> but I think everything survived. The power pack, the light, the whippets. But we'll have a closer look at this. I'll show you what we get in the box and all the different settings. Because it is quite impressive. Even as a setting like a lightning setting or a fire setting, and it all um, can be controlled over a an app on your phone as well yeah and as usual i've got no interest whatsoever look we're in the house because this is the second night and it's absolutely chucking it down with rain and sleet out there again let's have a look what you get in the box so oh, in the box it's not for you rosie in you the box away. you get a carrying bag with a handle on it and in there there's a shoulder strap for it as well you get the uh, power cable the charging brick which has a USB-C connector on there there's a mount a multi-adjustable mount that has a hole in it to fit onto a proper light pole there's the refle reflector that comes off for storage Thank you. Rosie's getting the chocolate <laughs> Rosie <laughs> and then there's the main light unit and this comes with that big rubber cover which you must remember to take off for obvious reasons this unit here well I've fitted this I got this off Amazon and this is like a, a unit to fit my tripod which just has a standard um, threaded hole in there and this just tightens up slides into one of those slots and tightens up so that just fits on there and then you can screw it onto a normal tripod but the actual bracket you get with it is a bit more technical than that it slides in there and then you rotate this and it expands it and you've got all the adjusters on it it's even got cable clips on the side as well this unit slides off so that just slides on that plastic piece and uh, this piece here the uh, actual reflector fits into the slots on the unit like so and then you pull this unit down this pin down and it turns around and locks into place and that's basically the light unit all the controls are on the back but um, I found it a lot easier you can use the controls on the back but there's an app and you can run it all off your phone as well with all the different features but I think it's quite trendy looking, isn't it? I think it'll look quite good in your office apartment or I know your loft your loft conversion. This is gonna sit in our office because we, we are using it a lot for filming and for taking some photographs as well. So we'll just keep it sat on a tripod, I think, in the office. But um having this handy bag that it all fits in will be great for when we're taking it away as well. So what I mean by this is that just fits onto a normal thread for a camera 
and you can screw it into a standard tripod. It even fits one of those small tripods you use for YouTubing as well. So we switched all the lights off in the cottage now and we're just actually using this light. It's the only one we've got on. And all the settings are adjustable on the back here. So you can reduce the power, the light level, it's obviously really bright, but you can bring it down to the right light of whatever you want it to use. And then there's all different features that could be affected on it as well. There's different effect rates. So that's lightning. So if, <laughs> if, if you want to do a film about lightning, you can have a lightning effect. This is the flame effect. So that's the fire effect. So if you wanted to make it look as if you was next to a, a fire, obviously you can turn it up and down to different levels. But as I say, it's a, you can alter everything on here with all the different settings and buttons and there's a switch on here to turn things up and down. But it's a lot easier to do it on the phone. And obviously when you're doing the filming, you probably not actually stood behind the light. You probably stood to the side. So using the app's a lot better. There's another dimming effect. A bit like a lighthouse that, isn't it? <laughs> and the winner of the All Powers... Stop licking yourself for us. We're we'll doing a video. The winner of the All Powers S700 is... And I don't know, because as usual, we're filming this before the closing date, so I'll put a slide in now, and uh, I'll contact this person through um, the comments section of YouTube, and then we'll communicate through email at onemanandhiswhippit at gmail.com, and we'll sort out delivery for you. Thanks for everybody who's entered, and more videos to come. So this is the app. And you, all the features you've got on there are on here, so you can you can look at all the different um, options. So that's on candle power, and you can change the intensity and the, like the color, the frequency of it, and the rate of it as well. So everything that you can do on the. Um, actual back of the unit you could do on here there is a bit of a delay between you press the button on this and it actually responding but it does work so let's go to bonfire and if we can change the rate the frequency and the intensity But I think this is easier to use on here than it was on back of there because when you're setting up your filming and everything, you're not going to be sat behind the cam behind the uh, light all the time, and it can enables you to get your camera set up better. Obviously, Rosie's taken a lot of interest in this, so you can change all different pieces and different light settings. We're back on lightning now. Turn it down and turn it up. And how fast the lightning goes so that would be like a, a sheet lighting won't it <laughs> or if you want to pause it you could just press the pause button it just stops it um takes a bit of playing about a bit of getting used to but it can be all done on this and you can preset some of these to memorize it as well so we have got this one to give away. So we're keeping one of them and the second one we're going to give away. It's exactly the same as that one. They don't get the adapter that I'm using for my type of tripod, but I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, and it obviously doesn't come with the tripod. You need to use your own tripod, but it comes with a power supply and everything else that's in there. And the guarantee and the instructions that you need with it. And to win this, same as ever, all you have to do in the comments of this video is leave the words, I want one. And that by the closing date and I don't know when that's going to be so we'll put it here and by that closing date we'd have randomly selected somebody uh, using a scanner to scan through the words I want one and we'll contact you only through the comment section on YouTube and we'll also show a slide in the next video just around the closing date time 
and show you the slide of the person who's won this and we'll only communicate with you through email and our email is one man and his whip it at gmail.com we don't use any other types of way of communicating with anybody we cover the cost of the postage and we never ask anybody for any money so there's a lot of scams about at the moment so i just want to reiterate that so everybody knows but thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one where these two might be a bit more interesting <laughs> they have been out all day though. Oh yeah. Hey.